Cheat 3 here. This is the full tutorial for how to build the My Cream Shop Lego Puzzle Box. What you're looking at here is the original inspiration created about a year ago of the My Cream Shop idea. You can see little X's on the eyes of the mice and the cat tail sticking out the door. So let's get started. We're going to start by building the base. There are two sections of the base that are sort of separate um, and uh, they're going to end up hinging together. So we've got some plates laid out. We just sort of push those together and then connect them with these uh, one by uh, six plates over top. And so that's the structure on the bottom. We're going to stack a couple of two by two plates with a one by two tile and that's going to go just here in the corner. Then we're going to put a one by two tile uh, and that here, and this is important because there's going to be a slider that moves across this area through the, the wall of the puzzle box. And we're going to just sort of extend that smooth surface out with this two by three plates with tiles on top here. Uh, and now to the other side. Again, we're going to just sort of um, put together the base. And we're going to leave a little gap here. This is where the mice will uh, enter. So we've got a two stud gap. We're going to just put these together um, with some studs here. And maybe you have a uh, one by three purple plate that you would use instead of, uh, instead of what we've done here. Uh, we'll place a one by two tile and then we'll stack a couple of one by two plates and another tile. And this is an important part of the mechanism uh, that releases the, the lock and lets it open. You can see how these two pieces sort of st start to fit together. Now let's build the uh, walls of the puzzle box. And this starts with a hinge piece. Uh, I've been trying to use hinge pieces for a while because we should be able to use them, but they're actually pretty bulky and they get in the way of things and they're not very secretive a lot of the time. Um, and so what we're gonna do here with this puzzle box, since it's not sort of a very small, intricate uh, a mechanical design, we have a little bit more room, and so we're gonna use these hinges. Uh, notice I've left two, two stud openings here in the bottom layer, um, and those are important because they're part of, um, well, at least this one's part of the mechanics. The other one on the other side is just the entryway for the mice, so it's part of the theme. And here I've used a brick with studs on the outside. Uh, and so when we have these studs on the side, these are just to attach these little holder pieces so that we can uh, hold the ice cream and display it on the outside of the box or on the inside of the ice cream uh, or forks and knives and that sort of thing. So just, I'm going to continue to place again. This is one with a stud on the side here and an arch. Uh, I've placed a couple of one by one plates under the arch just to lift it up a little bit here. Um, and now uh, just one more layer of bricks. So a two, one by two brick, a two by two corner brick, a one by three, a one by two. It's just important to uh, make sure that your bricks aren't lining up creating sort of a crack that goes up the side because that's a, a weak spot. So as long as they're staggered, you should be fine. And now let's attach these little uh, holder plates onto the side so that we can display uh, our ice creams and lure the mice in. Yeah, and you can see how it swings open here. Let's continue building up. Uh, so we're gonna have another hinge here. And I'm going to place a corner brick where two of these studs are actually on the interior uh, of the box. And this is a, a two by four plate that also has several studs on the interior of the box. So, Alright, some more with the studs on the side. You know, when the side stud is sort of recessed and there's a lip, they call that the headlight piece. Um, and, but we're not using those, we're using the full bricks with the stud on the side.
And now you can see we have these plates that just extend past uh, the base, and that's to sort of create this interlocking effect that will interlock with the other wall when it's uh, when it's all closed up. A few more bricks here on this side. Uh, we like to stagger that corner joint especially so that the corners are very strong. And uh, that little uh, cliff that we have uh, sticking out on, on the left hand side of your screen is going to move over the little tile that we have on the uh, side of the box on your right hand side of the screen. A few more plates. You know, I don't like to use these one by one plates, but sometimes that's just the right piece to use. Yeah, maybe you have a one by four plate instead of my two one by twos here. You can see there's some holes in the front for buttons, uh, for the mice to come in, and there's a hole in the back uh, also for a button. And now uh, we're going to use some color, and we chose these colors. Uh, to make, um, just to make it look ice creamy. I think these were from, uh, from a seaside scene box that we, that we had, um, just a retail Lego box. I think this color is called coral, actually. Um, so we'll put some of these up to build this stripe around the side. Um, notice there's a stud on the inside now for this one. Um, so we have that, now we're just going to continue putting uh, these coral uh, bricks around. Um, and now these are uh, slope pieces, so it's a, it's sort of a 1 by 2 on the bottom and a 2 by 2 on the top. And uh, we're sticking it, this is, and so this is, a, uh, I guess, the awning of the ice cream, the ice cream shop. Now just a little bit of more color here with this aqua blue, uh, just to really make the colors pop here. Give it that canonical ice cream sort of look. <laughs> and then we're going to put a couple of um, So let's use a 1x2 brick with a hole, and the hole is going to hold a little sign that uh, set, says that this is an ice cream shop here. And then we're just going to continue to add some bricks around the top layer here. A corner brick is always a really strong piece to use. And actually I'm starting to notice that this is not where this piece is meant to go, so I made a little mistake. I'm going to shift these one by six blue plates over, uh, so, and then I'm going to shift the other one down so that I can put the blue uh, one by one round stud right here, just on the end, like that. And continuing to add uh, bricks. You know, these colors really pop, uh, these stripes pop against the white. Uh, now half of this is going to have plates on the top wall, and that's going to hold the, uh, the ceiling or the roof, and the other half is going to have tiles, so the roof will actually slide across and on, on top of the tiles on this side of the puzzle box. And now we just have uh, two more uh, uh, one by three tiles that just uh, line up with the stri blue stripe that goes across the top here. You can see the inside, there's some uh, mechanical things here, there's some holders, and your box should look like this. And now we can attach it to the base that we made earlier. So let's just put the floor together like this. We'll close the box. We should be able to just set it on top and just press it in just so and it should open now. Like that. Alright, it's starting to come together.
There's a little hole in the back for a button. There's the hole for where the sign will reside, another button hole. These studs on the outside that will hold some signs. All right, now we're gonna build a few keys. So just try to follow along here. Um, I'm gonna stack two bricks together and then another two bricks, but the bottom one is a corner. And those go on the underside of this two by four plate. And the corner uh, piece should just be sticking out like this. Uh, now we're gonna place a tile and another tile. You can use a square tile if you have one. A two by two corner and then another tile uh, just sticking out. Now we're going to start to lock this in with some plates. And now we have these uh, transparent bricks and we're going to connect them with a 1x3 tile. And that should be able to set on this one stud here and slide across it that. This piece sort of looks like uh, a crawling man. <laughs> that, you know, maybe he's uh, crawling and or, I don't know, maybe he looks like a little beggar or something. Uh, and so now we have one more plate that we'll end up putting on top, but for now we need to leave that off. And that plate has a little center stud. Okay, another key. So uh, we're going to start with a 2x3 plate and we're going to put tiles on top and one corner tile, uh, which is important. Uh, and now we're going to put some, uh, just some uh, 1x2s underneath. So we have uh, one side that's got a brick and another side that's just plates. And um, this piece is the button that will go on the bottom of the box. All right, let's build another key here. So we'll start with a two by four plate. We're gonna put a two by two tile on that. So it's smooth on, on those squares. And now we're gonna put a uh, one by four and a one by three on top of that. And then a two by one or one by two that's centered there. Um, so we have a little arm sticking off on one side and a little thicker arm on the other side. And now we're just going to put a brick on top, so that should all be about even. Um, we're going to put a little 1x2 tile slider piece on the little arm that's sticking out the side here. And now a 2x3 plate with a little 1x2 uh, plate underneath it. This is kind of a complicated piece, but um, it works. So a couple more 1x2 plates with a 1x2 tile on top of that. And then another 2x3 plate that sticks out just a bit. And we're going to put a 1x1 uh, a one one stud right there in this corner. Um, now we have a 1x2 plate, a 1x4 plate that sticks out two notches. And now this is a slope that it's 2x2 uh, two two on bottom and 1x2 on top. It looks like a cash register. Um, so we're going to put that there, another tile. And then we're going to build up a couple of studs, oops, a couple of studs here that will hold some cutlery <laughs> uh, and just a little money round tile on top. And here's a little knife that might sit in there. And so this is aesthetic because it's the cash register, but it's also uh, a slider button that protrudes and keeps the box locked and also allows it to open when, when this all slides through. And be careful for this little tile. It's just sitting there delicately right now, but it will get locked in. Okay, let's build another little uh, sort of encasement for that slider tile. So I'm starting with a, uh, a brick actually, and I'm gonna put a uh, one by two and a two by two with a center stud on that. On the underside, I've put a two by two plate, and now I'm gonna put a one by two brick and another one by two brick that sort of goes the other direction. And this creates a little, little uh, cavity for us to have that slider move inside of. And now a one more one by two brick. Okay, another key. Let's put this, uh, this corner brick on top of the one by three plate. And now we're going to use another corner brick and we put 
uh, studs, one by one studs on the outer pieces and a one by one tile on the inside. And then we're going to put a uh, one by two tile on and another corner piece um, and another uh, two by two plate and then a two by two plate with a stud just on top. Oh, I missed a little piece here. Uh, we need to put this other plate on the underside so this is all flush. Okay, let's put together the roof. So we have here an eight by eight plate. And we're gonna put um, some square tiles across and a stripe across right here. We'll use a one by eight tile that we have on the edge. Um, and now we're gonna use these two by fours. You can do whatever pattern you want, but this sort of has the look of um, some ceramic tiles. So it kind of looks nice. Now we have these really ridiculous Friends pieces. Friends is sort of notorious for making uh, Legos that are almost useless in any other context than the uh, scenery that they're sold with. Um, but here we're going to use these again and this sort of looks like a storefront. And let's start to put in some of the key pieces. So I'm going to put this little uh, saddle piece in here and then this other the uh, crawling man is going to sit on top of that. And to get that in, you're going to have to remove part of the wall. Um, all, especially all those parts that were sort of sticking on the inside. Uh, so now we can place this, uh, this little saddle button right on top of this little uh, holder table. And now the crawling man should be able to sit uh, right in here like that. And the clear part should be poking right through the uh, little hole that we left for it. And we can reattach the top now. And then finally this two by two plate with a center stud uh, just connects all of that together on top. You can see the button moving up and down here. So let me just fix this. Okay. Yeah, you can see how the but this other button the uh, with the crawling man sort of pushes in and out also. Okay, now let's work on the buttons for the other side. Uh, so first we're going to place the cash register and it should just sit in this little hole that we've left on the outside. If you push it in, that's, it'll slide across that slider piece. Um, and so now we can trap that piece in here uh, with this other sort of um, holder that we built. And now when we push it back, that keeps that slider piece in place. And this final piece is mostly just structural um, and it locks all of those other pieces nice and in place. This also gives it some support. So when this catch register moves in and out, uh, it should be well supported by these other pieces. And so uh, you can sort of practice doing that. Now is the time to check to make sure that the box closes well and opens well and that uh, your sort of sequence of locking everything works. Um, so I've got the button on the bottom, I've got this button in the back, and I've got a button on the front. And so I should be able to push that in. You saw the cash register inside move. Now I can't push that button on the bottom. And this front button should be, um, it should be pushed out and you should be able to push in the front button Pull the back button all the way out and then use the bottom button to open the, uh, the mice group shop. So here we're going to start decorating. We have several signs. We created some of our own signs. We have some ice cream cones, some ice cream cone tops, some mice, uh, some cats, some cutlery. We have this little one by four uh, holder with some center studs on top that um, we'll use to hold some mice cream. So let's just start placing some of these ice creams on their cones. These will go on the outside because it's sort of the bait. And then on the inside, we have mice on their cones here. <laughs> so I'm going to place this in the back, uh, right by the cash register. And I'll put the mice cream inside those center studs. Other. 
All right, my ice cream for sale. You're gonna need some knives. <laughs> so let's put some knives in. Uh, here's one cat for the cash register. Uh, another cat who's chilling out. <laughs> Here's another cat. This is a, clearly a good hangout place for cats. Maybe a knife or fork goes here. Oh, here's another holder we can put on this interior stud for another knife. And when you're decorating it, you can take some of your own liberties to do what you want. Just make sure that the mechanicals are always functioning if you make your own changes. And it should be able to close up nicely here. There's a view of the interior. And we're gonna push this, uh, well, let's put the lid on. So the lid is attached only to one half and it just sits on top of the other half of the box. Place some outside, uh, some ice creams on the exterior here. Let's put our signs. This is the sign that holds the first button, so it kind of spins off to the side. Uh, here's the uh, mice enter here sign. And then we're going to make this one hang out the back. Now I've used a gray piece here that sort of swivels a little bit too freely. Uh, there are other Lego pieces that are a little bit tighter and hold their position better. Um, mine are all black and you can't see them, so I didn't use them here. And this one is the Mice Cream Shop sign. Those poor mice don't get the jokes on them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe to our channel.